All right. So I thought tonight would be a good night to film because I have um, only a little bit of a dose left on my gonal pen. So, and I feel like there's always a lot of confusion about what to do with that. Um, I'm talking to my husband. He's sitting here next to me, but he's not on camera. Oh, there he is. Um, so anyway, that can be a little bit confusing, and it was confusing to me at first, too, so I thought that would be a good, um, tonight would be a good night to show how that works. So, I have, um, I have a gonal pen that has, like, almost no dose on it, um, because my my dosage got increased after my day four ultrasound. So this has like, how much did we say we think it has in it? Maybe a hundred units. Mm -hmm. So that's not a lot at all. My dose is 425. So I'm gonna have to give myself three shots tonight instead of two normally. So that's fun. Um, but first I'm gonna do my low dose HCG. I always do that one first cause I feel like it's smaller and less cumbersome. Um, the HCG, I only have to give myself 20 units, so it's not bad. So I uh, always just wipe off the top with my alcohol wipe a little bit. Um, and I remember the first day that I did this and I was like, I watch YouTube videos and people are just like, oh, blah, 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 whatever. Like, talking and opening up their thing and I don't know how they just go about it like nobody's business and now I'm like on day five and I'm like ah, eh, I'm good whatever these little things are a pain in the butt to open um so the low dose hcg is just with a little um insulin needle so it's not a big it's not a big needle at all it's just a little baby one um, and tonight is my right side, so can you, you can kind of see, just, that's probably, yeah, that's good. They say two inches in any direction from your belly button, but I don't like going above my belly button. That weirds me out, so I don't do that. So, what I do is I just dial my, I just pull my pen sticking down to 20. I usually do a little bit more than 20. Um, so you always pull it back first and then once you put it in, you plunge it up. So you just plunge it right in and then you turn it all the way upside down and then you push it back up. So that gets like all the air out of your needle and stuff. Um, and then you just pull it back down to 20. Make sure there's no like bubbles or anything. There we go. So this is the low dose HCG and then you just pinch. Not getting a good pinch tonight. There we go. Try to remember where you put the alcohol. And you just stick it in there. And that's that. Oh my gosh, it didn't bleed. I always bleed on my right side, so I always come prepared with cotton balls when I do my right side. With my left side, nothing ever happens. So, needle. Sharps container. There's already like so much in here and I'm only halfway through. Okay, so that is the low dose HCG. That one is, none of them hurt really, honestly. They're all just subcutaneous, so they're not that big of a deal. Okay, so next is gonna be um, the Gonal F. I think I have a fairly high dose of Gonal F from what I've read on other people's like pages and like videos and stuff. I have, I'm up to 425 units a night. Um, I was, 
should have probably picked a different outfit to wear because you can see my bra through this. Anyway, I'm just going to wipe again. Um, so I started at 375 units of Gano F, but they upped me to 425. I just realized I forgot to wash my hands. Oh, wait, no, I went to the bathroom. Never mind. Never mind. So the Gano F, here's what you do. It comes in this little pen, and you take off the top part of the pen, and then it comes with little needles that you attach to it. So you just stick it in there and turn it to like attach it on and you just twist it until it goes and then you take off this top part and it still has a little like a little green cover on it too so what you do when you only have a little bit of the dose and i i think there's something left in here i hope that i'm not just sticking myself for no, for no reason so what you do is you dial up your full dose so I'm going to dial all the way up to 425, which takes a long time. And you can see there's like nothing in there. So let's see how this goes because I'm not really sure how this is going to go. So make sure I can see my little plunger. I hate the smell of this. It smells like Band-Aids and I can taste it afterwards and it tastes like Band-Aids. So... We are going to put this in. Didn't do anything. For 12 and a half. Oh, that's something. So I got like 10 units out of that, which is not worth sticking yourself. What am I doing? It's, it's like the wrong. Bucks. Oh, man. All right. So in my next pen, I'm going to dial up 412 and a half. This guy's donezo. Throw this in the sharps container. And what I do is I just, for some strange reason, I always write empty and the date. So today is 18. 7, 18. 18. Just so I don't like accidentally forget which is full and which isn't full. So that unfortunately is a bunch of garbage and now I just have to basically give myself the entire shot still anyway. <laughs> Go figure. So I'm gonna get a new pen. Come out of here, does it? There we go. A new pen and another new one of these. And I'll go ahead and wipe myself again. Oh, man. What a bunch of garbage that is, huh? So, new gone left pen, new needle. So you just take the top off of it. Wait, is this, this is, this is the empty one. I'm an idiot. Stage fright. <sighs> huh? Stage fright. Yeah, stage fright. Here's my unopened gunnel. This never opens the right way. Gosh dang, man. You know, like on the cooking shows where they have the pre-prepared meal. Yeah, because people get nervous and don't do it right. Yeah, yeah that's me right now. This is all a good lesson in as long as you get the medicine in you, it's fine. Then you'll be fine. Okay, so this is my new... <laughs> this is my new... Full dose. There you can see it's full. It's a little air bubble in there, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Air bubbles are fine unless they're like the full length of the bottom of your thingamajigger. 
So I'm just gonna screw on my new needle and take this off. And what did it, what was it for, 12 and a half? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna dial my dose on this new pen to 4, 12 and a half. There we go. So this one takes a while to go all the way out. And you always want to make sure that you can like see the dosage because you have to hold this all the way down until it clicks down to zero. Somebody in one of my Facebook groups just tonight didn't do that. And they were like, oh my God, what do I do? It's confusing, but you have to make sure you it clicks all the way down to zero. All right, so gone a laugh. Unfortunately, I have to stick myself three times tonight for this one. So you just hold it down. Why do you have to do three times? I had to stick myself three times tonight. Oh, okay. And it goes all the way down to zero, and then you just hold it in for a couple of seconds just to make sure that everything comes out. And then you just pull it out. And I'm really surprised because my right side usually bleeds, and it didn't. So that's all you do, and then the gonorrhea you just unscrew. You unscrew the needle and you put it in your sharps container and then you just put this back on and then you just put it back in the container and you put it back in the fridge. Um, so that way oh yeah, it's bleeding a little bit, but not much. Um, so then, oh, thank you. So then um, I'll get another full dose out of this tomorrow. I'll get another 425 out of it. So tomorrow I'll be able to just dial it up to a regular 425. And I have about five, uh, 550 in there. So I'll actually get a little bit more out of this one. So that's good. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's uh, low dose HCG and Gono F. And so then I'm just gonna take my schedule here and mark off that I did my 425 and my 20 and that is that all right thanks for watching